today I want to talk about how you would reuse a structure. If you come up with a really good structure, so let's say having a structure that encapsulates all the information about a date, the month, the day, and the year, it's so useful that I want to use it in two programs. So I've got two very similar but slightly different programs here. Uh, my one program is in a file called um, date using header.c and I've got the date of my lecture tomorrow and then I'm just printing it to the screen and printing the size of that object and my other file over in blue is date using header 2 I use the same structure date and instead I want to do print out the date of Easter because that's coming up so two different programs, two different mains, um, but they're both using the same structure. So one way to do it is to do what I just did and copy and paste it and have identical code in two places, but that's not the best way to do it. So the best way to do it would be to put this definition of what the date structure is in a single file and have both of my programs access that file. And it's similar to the way we handle other um, include statements, like we're including a header standard io.h, and that allows us to use this function printf in as many programs as we want, and we don't have to define what printf does, the header has all that information for us. And so any program that wants to print something can just include that. So what we're gonna do to change both of these programs is we're gonna go over and I'm going to end up getting rid of the definition of what is that date structure. It's going to be defined in a different file, and I can pull that in. And when you put these angled brackets around, that's for like one of the this, um, the predefined, the, the libraries that come with C, but if it's a library that you made or a structure you made or a function you made that you want to pull in and use in more than one file possibly, then you'll use the double quotes. So we can say, I want to pull in, I'm going to put it in a file called date with, why is my, I guess my caps locks on, um, date.h. Um, ending in a .h is a header file, so the header file will not have a main or, or um, any other code that's going to execute, but it would have things like function prototypes, and it could have a definition of uh, a structure, like what we're going to have. So I'm going to replace, not only in this first file, but in the second file, I'm also going to replace what a date is. And I'm going to include, I still need to create this header file, but the date.h. And so now I can save both of these. And if I try to compile right now, it will not work unless I create a date.h, a header file, in the, the same directory because I didn't include any other path information. Um, and all I need to have in here is the definition of what that structure date looks like so both of the programs that want to use it can see it. So the information that's common to both programs, you're going to put in that header file. And now I should be able to compile either one of those programs and run them. And yep, that first program works, and I can compile the second program as well, and that should work as well. And we're gonna, I'm gonna have to come up with some more examples to show how you would put functions in a separate file and compile those. And you'll put the prototype in the header, and then you can have the body of the function in a different .c file. But we'll have more examples with multiple files and C programs later.